Hello and welcome back to Tea Books and Daisies. I'm Michelle. Nice to see you again. And welcome to my balcony. I thought I'd mix things up a little bit. I'm getting a little brave moving outside my house to record. Bear with me on that one. <laughs> but today I want to talk about one of my favorite things, which is journaling. I have been journaling since I was probably around eight years old, and back then I called it a diary. And I basically talked about my my friends and what I did at school and how my little brother was annoying me and, and all the things that you would expect of an eight-year-old. And I continued journaling through high school and into my 20s, but it was really sporadic. I didn't really stick to it um, in, in any kind of real way. Um, until I discovered journal prompts. Journal prompts helped me to learn how to journal. They gave me something to write about other than just my day and have really become a cornerstone of how I journal about my life, how I think things through, um, how I figure out what I want. Journaling and specifically writing prompts are how I do that. And the thing to think of, remember about journal prompts is they're a bit like a good tea, like a, a really good aged puer tea or a fine wine, if you will. Sometimes you have to sit with them and sort of just kind of let them sink in and just keep writing for them to help you figure out what you really think. I used to try to do a journal prompt, one journal prompt a day. And that got to be too much, especially for a journal prompt where I'm really trying to go deep into some sort of subject. So now what I do is I do one journal prompt, usually per week, and that allows me to really sit with that journal prompt and, and really let it do its job, so to speak. So what I wanna share with you are my five favorite journal prompts to kickstart anybody's journal process. These are all really sort of easy journal prompts. They won't, it's not something that you're gonna really ruminate on, but it will definitely help you to get a journal process started and see if it's gonna work for you in whatever you're trying to work through. So my first journal prompt to get your journal practice started is what's a memory that makes you smile? What's something that when you think about it, it just sort of lights you up inside. Is it um, a birthday, a your wedding day, uh, the day that your child was born, or maybe a specific moment in your child's life when they learned how to ride a bike? Something like that. What's a memory that makes you smile? Number two, what's your favorite color? And how does that color make you feel? And where is that color? Is it a color that you wear? Is it a color that's in your house? Is it the color of your car? Why do you like that color? Does it harken back to a particular memory? So what's your favorite color and why? This is probably my favorite journal prompt. Number three, what are you tolerating? What little friction in your life are you tolerating that if you would just take the time to move it out of the way, your life would be better. Maybe it's a little thing, maybe it's a big thing, but what's one thing you're tolerating? So I, I added this one because in the age of pandemic, I think we all need to think about the future and the fact that there will be a future. We won't all be at home all the time, forever. So number four, plan out something on your bucket list, whether it's a trip, or skydiving or a watercolor class or whatever it is plan that whole trip out go into detail buy the maps download the maps uh, create a pinterest board just write everything down and plan out that one thing that's on your bucket list and then figure out is there is there a way for you to do it now or plan a date when you could do it even if it's five years into the future. When could you do that? And then plan it all out. Plan out something on your bucket list is number four. And our final journal prompt is number five. What are you grateful for? What's one or two things 
that you're super grateful for, especially right now in this time of the pandemic. Um, write out everything about what you're grateful for, how it makes you feel, why you're grateful, the who, the what, the where, the why, the how, all the details of it, and and really sort of write it, write it out from your heart and write it out so that you remember in this moment what you felt grateful for, why you felt grateful for it, and how it's affecting your life right now. Two things I'm grateful for right now are the friends that call me and say, hey, how you doing? How you making it through? Do you need anything? Most of the time, I just need to talk. And then the second thing I'm really grateful for is the walk that I go on every day at four o'clock in the afternoon. Whether I like it or not, I take myself for a walk. And it's helped me not just get out of my house and get some fresh air, but get some perspective, get some sunshine, get away from my computer, get out of my apartment. And I always feel better after my walk. So my walk is one of those things that I'm super grateful for and I actually journaled on it just this past weekend. There you go, my five favorite journal prompts to kickstart a journal process, whether you're a beginner or trying to get back into it. And that is, what makes you smile? What's a favorite memory that makes you smile? What's your favorite color? What's something in your life that you're tolerating? Uh, plan out something on your bucket list and name something that you're grateful for. I hope those help. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a video. And if you'd like to see some of the pictures I take on my walk, you can check out my Instagram story. Always remember that life is better with a good book, a good journal, and a cup of tea in your hand. See you next time. Bye.